What's up guys? Welcome back sa ating channel. Again, this is your math teacher, Sir Gaor. Ready na po ba tayong matuto ng isang panibagong math lesson? So kung ready na, today we will be studying Cartesian Coordinate System. Ito po yung sample ng Cartesian Coordinate System or yung tinatawag ding Cartesian Plane. So ngayon na yung introduction ng paggagraph sa math. So, para, ma, hindi, para hindi tayo mahirapan sa mga susunod na math lessons with regards to graphing, so pakinggan natin to ng maigi. Okay? So, today we will be having the parts of the Cartesian Coordinate System. Yung paano rin yung point plotting, paano rin yung paglocate ng point. Okay? So, kung nagustuhan nyo yung ating, yung ating video, so you may like this video. You may also comment in the comment section. And also, please subscribe para doon sa mga hindi pa natin subscribers. Before we proceed to our new lesson for today, let's have first our drill. The drill is to determine the pair of integers described below and place them inside the parentheses. Verify the given example. Okay, e.g. means for example, 3 units to the right and 5 units below. Okay, so to the right means positive. It means positive. So therefore, this is positive 3 or 3. While below means negative. So therefore, negative 5. And according to the instructions, we should place them inside the parentheses. Okay, so that's how to do it properly. Okay, I hope the directions is clear now. So you may now proceed. Good luck! These are the correct answers for our drill for today. 6 units to the left means negative 6, while 15 units above means positive 15. So therefore, that's negative 6, 15. And placed inside the parentheses. 9 units to the east means positive 9, and 1 unit upward means positive 1, so therefore, it's 9, 1. And number 3, 7 units to the west means negative 7, and 0 units downward, so that is 0. Negative 7, 0 is the answer. For number 4, 4 units to the left, so that means negative 4, while 22 units upward means positive 22. Or 22. So that's the correct answer for number 4. Well, number 5, 5 units to the east, or 8 units to the east means positive 8, and 10 units below means negative 10. Okay, so I hope you got a score of 5. So, para kung hindi man po naka 5, paki review na lang yung answers. Eh, anyway, this is just a basic lesson uh, which, were, which was discussed uh, during grade 7 or grade 6. Let us now proceed to our lesson, which is the Cartesian Coordinate System. Cartesian Coordinate System is also called the Rectangular Coordinate System or yung pinakasimple at pinakakomon na tawag sa kanya ay itong Cartesian Plane. The Cartesian Plane is systematized by René Descartes, a French mathematician also known as the father of modern mathematics. Kaya nga po tinawag na Cartesian Plane, it's because of Rene Descartes. Siya kasi yung nagsystematize niyan. Okay. Composed of two perpendicular lines that meet at the point of origin, which is at 0, 0, and divide the plane into four regions called quadrant. Okay. Okay. So, let's have another definition of term, which is an ordered pair. Ordered pair is also known as the coordinates is a set of two well-ordered real numbers. So, nakaayos na siya, naka-arrange na siya. So, meaning to say, hindi na natin pwedeng pagbaligta rin. Dalawa lang naman sila, no? So, hindi pwedeng magkabaligtad. Okay, an ordered pair is named using a capital letter and given in the form x, y inside the parentheses. So, parang yung ginawa natin sa drill kanina, no? So, yung first number na nasa left, which is the x. So, ang tawag sa kanya ay abscissa. While yung second number, 
Ang tawag naman sa kanya ay ordinate. So again, first number is the abscissa, while the second number is the ordinate. ordinate. Careful po dun sa spelling ng abscissa, ha? Tsaka ng ordinate na rin, of course. Let us now discuss Cartesian plane. Okay, so we have here a horizontal line. Nilagyan ng integers, so meron na tayo ngayong number line. Okay, that number line or that horizontal number line is what we call the x-axis. Okay, sabi ng definition kanina ng Cartesian plane, composed of two perpendicular number lines. So, ibig sabihin, meron pang isa pang number line, pero perpendicular naman kay x-axis. At ito po yun. Okay, this number line is what we call the y-axis. Lagyan natin ng grid para madali nating makikita yung intersections ng bawat integers. Yan. Okay. And nagmit daw sila doon sa origin which is at 0, 0. So that point is what we call the origin and the coordinates of origin is 0, 0. 0 yung x at 0 din yung y. Okay. Sabi rin doon kanina, magkakaroon daw ng apat na quadrants. No? So, nakikita nyo po ba yung apat na quadrants? Okay, so, isa-isahin natin sila. So, quadrant 1. So, this is the quadrant 1. In quadrant 1, x is positive. Remember, it, it's given as x, comma, y. So, x yung una, y yung pangalawa. So, x, comma, y. Okay, so, tignan natin yung sign nung sa x. So, ito yung sa x-axis natin. At lahat ng mga nandirito ay puro positive. Kaya, positive yung x dito. And then, for our y, lahat ng sa y ay positive din. So, ito naman yung sa ating y. So, that's why in quadrant 1, both x and y are positive. Next, where is quadrant 2? Nandun pala si quadrant 2. Okay, in quadrant 2, so tignan naman natin yung sign ni x and y. So, in quadrant 2, ito yung sa x natin. Tapos, ito naman yung sa ating y. So, ano kaya ang sign ni x, y sa quadrant 2? It's negative, positive. Okay. Sa ang quadrant 3? Nandun pala si quadrant 3. Okay. Sa quadrant 3, kitang-kita parehas silang negative, no? So, quadrant 3, negative, comma, negative. And of course, here is the quadrant 4. In quadrant 4, positive yung x. Tingnan natin yung sa x-axis, negative naman yung ating y. So therefore, that is positive, comma, negative. And that is the components of a Cartesian plane. Let's now proceed to the examples. Determine the coordinates and quadrant or axis of each given point. So where is the point? Ayun, point M ang pangalan niya. So, dito natin ilalagay yung kanyang coordinates. Okay, so para malaman natin yung coordinates, let's start from the origin. So, from the origin hanggang doon sa katapat ni point M, so ito yun. So, simula sa origin, papunta dito sa 2. So, therefore, that is 2 units to the right. Remember, kapag to the right, we are positive. So, therefore, it means positive 2. That's why our x-coordinate or our abscissa is positive 2. Next. So, ito naman, yung pataas. Yan. Okay, so that is how many units? 1, 2, 3. 3 units upward. Kapag 3 units upward, it means positive 3. So, therefore, our ordinate or our y coordinate is positive 3. So therefore the coordinates of m is 2 comma negative 3. So ang basa po doon ay 2 comma negative 3. And tinatanong din yung kanyang axis or uh, quadrant or axis. So it is located at quadrant 1. So therefore those are our answers for point m. Let's have another point. Ayun yung kulay green. Okay, so simula sa 0 hanggang, or sorry, ang pangalan pala niya ay point A. At yan ilalagay ang kanyang coordinates. 
Simula sa 0 hanggang doon sa negative 7. Ayan. So, gaano yan kalayo? It is 7 units to the left. So, to the left meaning negative. So, therefore, our abscissa or the x-coordinate is negative 7. What about our ordinate or yung y-coordinate natin? Hindi tumaas tapos hindi rin bumaba. No? Hindi tumaas at hindi bumaba. 0 units upward or downward. So, hindi tumaas, hindi bumaba. Kaya, ang ating ordinate or yung y-coordinate natin ay 0. So, ngayon, nasa ang quadrant or axis siya. So, wala, na siya, wala ngayon siya sa quadrant. No? Because it is along the axis. It is along the x-axis. So, ang sagot doon sa quadrant or axis is x-axis. Let's have another point. Ayun. Anong pangalan ng next point na yan? Point T. Okay. So, simula doon sa y hanggang doon sa point T. So, yan. Diyan natin lalagay yung ating answer, yung coordinates. Okay. So, so ilan ba yan? From 0 to negative 6. So, bali meron tayong 6 units to the left. Yan. So, 6 units to the left. To the left means negative. So, therefore, we have negative 6. Now, let's have the y-coordinate. So, yung ating y-coordinate, simula doon hanggang doon sa taas. Okay. Yan. So, bali ilan yun? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, that is 5 units upward. So, therefore, our ordinate or yung tinatawag na y-coordinate, that is positive 5. Kasi nga, upward. So, the coordinates of point T is negative 6, 5. So, nasa ang quadrant yan? It is at quadrant 2. So, therefore, those are the answers for point T. Let's have another point. Ayun, nasa gilid. Okay, so of course, alam nyo na kung ano ang letter na yan, anong pangalan ng point na yan. Of course, it's point H. For point H, yan, dyan natin lalagay yung ating coordinates. Yan, so gaano kalayo? Simula sa 0 hanggang sa 8. So therefore, that is 8 units to the right. Okay, to the right means positive. So therefore, our abscissa or yung ating x coordinate ay positive 8, of course. Next. So paano naman yung y coordinate or yung ordinate? Simula doon sa x axis hanggang doon sa h. Yun, so, pababa. So, that is how many units? 5 units downward. And downward means negative. So, therefore, we have negative 5. Nasa ang quadrant ba yan? Quadrant 4. So, therefore, those are the answers for H. Okay? So, palaging tatandaan, uunahin yung left and right, or left or right, bago yung up or down sa paglolocate. Left, and, left or right, para doon sa x-coordinate, up or down, para doon sa y-coordinate. So, ganun lang po siya kasimple. Left or right, before, up or down. Let's have another example. Plot each given point in a Cartesian plane. Okay, point L. Neg uh, 4, negative 1. 4, negative 1. So, from, our or from the origin, so we have 4 units to the right kasi positive 4. And then, 1 unit, upward or downward? Of course, it's downward because it's negative 1. So, therefore, nandyan yung ating point L. Ayan, si point L. Let's have point O. Point O, 0, yung ating left or right. So, wala. Let's proceed to up or down. So, up na lang siya agad. So, wala siyang naging left or right. So, positive 5 means... Uh, 5 units upward. Okay, so therefore, we have our point O here. Okay, next. Point V. Negative 3, comma, negative 5. So, negative 3 means 3 units to the left. Negative 5 means 5 units downward. So, therefore, that is our location for point V. And finally, let's have point E. Negative 6 means 6 units to the left. 
Positive 4 means 4 units upward. So, therefore, nandun yung ating point E. So, ngayon po magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang tridies. Okay, so for tridies letter A, give the coordinates and quadrant or axis of each given point. Okay, remember, kapag magbibigay ng coordinates para hindi malito, unahin yung left or right, then afterwards yung up or down. Okay, yung left or right para doon sa X coordinate or yung absisa, yung up or down para doon sa y, co y coordinate or yung ordinate. Okay, always give your answer inside the parentheses and they are being separated by a comma. Okay po, good luck! Okay, so here are the correct answers for our try this letter A. Okay, point F. Those are the answers. Point A or point I, point T, and point H. Okay, so I hope you got a perfect score. It's either 5 or 10. Depende kung paano kayo nag-point system. Pero kung meron kayong naging mali, so pakireview nyo na lang para mas maintindihan nyo yung ating point plotting. Okay? Let's now have try this letter B. Plot each given point in a Cartesian plane. Okay, so always remember that when you are plotting points, consider first left or right for the x coordinate and up or down for the y coordinate. Okay? And name the points using capital letters. Good luck! These are the correct answers for our try this letter B. I hope you got a perfect score. Pero kung hindi man po, review yung mga mali natin para mas lalo nating maintindihan yung ating pinag-aaralan. And I hope to see you again in our next videos. What's up guys?